Monsters of Anti, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 6 of my village campaign, where last time we bopped Archeon and turned him from the Ever Chosen to the Ever Slave. That's right, the only thing he's wearing now is a pair of really tight leather pants and maybe some leather straps, and that's it. And he, he's a footstool. And every Wednesday night we peg him, maybe. I don't know. I just made that up. We probably don't do that. We might do. Even if we did, it wouldn't be Village. It would be Tommen. So there's questions there about Village being basically a bum worm. And, I mean, basically it's very confusing. Probably best not to think about it, really. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> Carl, Carl's off on one. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, Carl's, Carl's scary. He's, he's big. He's very big. That's why we're going to Cathay far away from him <laughs> very far away uh right we still need to bop oh hello did you hang on what's your army like huh did boris did Bo was boris there i'm gonna head oh crap fuck i knew you'd do that you bastard ah oh, shit Ah, oh, crap. Like, you know what? I had a sneaking suspicion. I had a sneaking suspicion he was out there. Oh, listen to your gut. That's what you should do. Right, we're in a lot of trouble here because Boris is an absolute nightmare to deal with. Not to mention the fact that he's got a bunch of cavalry sort of running roughshod through my fairly beefy marauders. But still, uh, we're going to have to get our flamers out of, well, range of everything because they're getting shot to pieces. They are giving as good as they get. And the Slotzi here... Getting a face full of fire, but the flamers will be dispatched. The Changebringers, on the other hand, did manage to scarper through a mountain and can now circle back around and hopefully get some, some shots off. The Screamers seem to be actually doing fairly well against those light war sleds, which is nice. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, flamers are going down. Battle is pandemonium with Kislevites all over the place, including the winged lances who have a very nasty charge. And Boris himself. He's already kicked the ever-living shits out of Kylas. Didn't really stand a chance, to be honest. Kylas was always going to get his head kicked in. Uh, Boris is an absolute monster. And now he's coming for a cold. The Chaos Warriors of Zinch. Potentially could do some damage. They do have a 19 bonus first large. It's not bad. It's like armor piercing as well. So there's options there. We can debuff him. So he's a minus 40% melee attack, which takes his melee attack down to insane rather than complete bonkers. Meanwhile, our change bringers are weathering the fire fairly well and lighting up enemy unit after enemy unit, proving to be very useful. Things in the word, they've been summoned in. Fortunately, they will be disintegrating fairly soon, at least before they can do too much damage. I didn't realise, but Acol doesn't actually have any decent spells. The thing is, the first sort of block of spells that Zinch gets, not actually that good. You need the second block. That's when they get good spells. So, until then, you're kind of struggling. Kylas is again going in to try and uh, fend off Boris. This does not work out very well for him. And uh, once again, he gets his head kicked in. Never mind, he survives. That's the main thing. The change bringers proving you just just doing great work. Just great work. I mean, 600, 600 damage that was gold, 900 there. Despite the fact that we got the ambush, they have managed to wipe out several units of Streltsy and uh, have even managed to repair their shield at the same time, which is quite nice. The Screamers of Zinch uh, doing okay. 22 kills, 500 damage, that was gold. Not, it's not great, it's not bad. We can come down, see if we can take out some of these armoured Kossars, although probably not. The Screamers are going to disintegrate and the change bringers moving in to try and catch some more of these missile units. You have to be careful, though, because as soon as we get into range of a few missile units, they will turn around and try and bring them down. They are high-value targets, and the AI knows it. The 
flame washing over the Streltsy. Oh, it does so much damage. And it's, I mean, it's, it's good damage. It's good damage. Unfortunately, the change bringers are running low on ammunition. And more importantly, health. And even more importantly, happiness. Because, of course, as soon as demons get sad, they will disintegrate. And unfortunately, that is what is going to happen to the change bringers. But not before they do a good amount of damage to the enemy. Unfortunately, that ambush was just too nasty. And eventually, all of our units decide to break and run. Oh, that was bloody silly, wasn't it? Never mind, we gave him a battering. Although, just want to point out, this is every time I say demonic is bad, you always get the couple of people that go, oh, actually, I think you'll find it's actually very good because I get physical resistance, right? Who died in this battle? There's two categories of units that died in this battle. The first is unbreakable units, because of course they just die. And then there's the demons, who get sad and drop dead. Now, that means that unbreakable and demonic are both abilities which are actually fairly negative to have. Which is weird, isn't it? But yeah, Demonic is just a bad ability. It's, it's a negative. Be my well, fortunately, we've got a slight benefit that we can just instantly heal our guys. And we... I got Kyla's Death Dealer the Survivor boon. So, you know what? Maybe that was planned. We can't be sure. We may never know. We may, we may never know whether that was actively planned or not. The fact is, he took an absolute fucking battering there, right? He may have won that fight, but... That was a very Pyrrhic victory for him. Uh, we're going to get devoted to Chaos, I think. And you're going to get Blade Master and Deadly Blade. What do you actually have? Oh, you don't actually have anything. Okay, in that case, have a Sword of Antiheroes, have Armor of Fortune, have a Dawnstone, you know, on me, Yeah. Okay. Magic of chaos. Uh, if we march, I can... I'm not actually that worried about him. Why do you Boris himself is a pain in the ass to kill? I mean, the bonus here is the fact that he won't replenish. So I have time to to slink off and lick my wounds. Plus, of course, that we, we actually got a bunch of experience to find that battle, so we can actually upgrade our guys, so we might want to do that. Uh, that's an option. Egrim, you can come down here. Village, let's come down here. We have a main issue at the moment. Is that the kind don't have many souls. Less souls than I would like. I know everything about you. Hello, Ted. What's up, mate? Non-aggression pact? You know what? Sure. Okay. What we can do now... Boris has slunk off. Change in did, did lose Serve my flamers, which is vexing. But on the other hand, and... This is a, a slight benefit. Everyone did get enough enough experience to level up into Never Chaos Warriors. So actually, could have been worse. In fact, more campaign movement range is nice. Lord Recruit rank isn't the worst thing. Ritual Staff, um, maybe. It's been for Chaos Warriors. Yeah, go on. Oh, knowledge is mine. Go on then. Let's get the old Blade Master there. And Village is continuing. Come on, come on, guys. Come on. Need to need to get that. Get them souls. The great sorcerer smiles upon you. Defensive alliance. You know what? You're on.
You're on. That's that's doable. All right, we're almost there. That's good. You've actually got the burning. You're actually one of my vassals, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Oh, Boris has uh, got rid of a bunch of his units for some reason. Not entirely sure why, but good. Oh. So we got more money and more souls. Well, good job. Well done. The great schema twists the world to his desire. Okay, let's let's meander in this direction. Dark sorcerer. Could potentially oh, there are the knights of immolation. That is kind of tempting. Uh the shrieking tell you what, should we get these guys? Embrace. I feel like we need to level up Kyle. Because Kyle is the guy that needs to take on Boris. Now that's a tough gig. Not gonna lie. Very tough gig. A lot of... A lot of... A lot of Boris to deal with, uh, not to mention the fact that he's got that really terrifying magic item. I don't know quite why you've lost your units. Maybe you got attacked by something or attacked something. I genuinely don't know. It's fine. Not a big problem. Yes. Grave Digger. We're not... Fu well, more melee defense for everyone. Sure, why not? When can we upgrade to seven there? Oh, we need profane weapons. Where's profane weapons? Profane weapons is there. Okay. Well, tell you what. We're actually ten, ten turns. Ten turns. We can make some more chaos knights, which would be nice. Uh, how much winter magic do you have? Not enough. You also do not have as much winter magic as I'd like. Gonna have to sort that problem out. I mean, village has just had a long way to run, hasn't he? Do you doubt our power? You doubt the trusted twins? Do you? You want non-aggression pact? Why is that? Uh, oh, just because you like me, really. All right. You don't like my treaties with the, the Imperial... Mate, you are so fucking far away from them. You do not have to... You do not have to worry about the fact I vassalize. There really should be a thing where if you vassalize someone, they're like, good. People who don't like them should be... should be happy with that. We've met the Deceivers. Are you actually going to do anything? Or... Hang on. Ah, uh, oh, there you are. Nope. Hang on. There you are. Hello. Trust in me. Such a kind fool. Okay, cool. Um, I'm not... I've, you'll give me a defensive alliance eventually. I'm assuming you're at war with them. Um, Third UI. What the fuck does that mean? 3D UI visibility. Okay. Still not entirely sure what that means, but that's fine. Bow to me. Okay, we need more Winds of Magic. Let's meander. You're beefing your Winds of Magic up. Good. Lord Boris is is there we're gonna give you a, we're gonna make you a chaos gladiator gladiator ready Receive charge, boundless knowledge. contender ready Receive right okay so we're gonna go meander down here maybe boris will head in this direction hello Dark sorcerer it's a city with my name on it right there. Also, we're about to run out of souls. That's prob- Oh, fuck. Oh, no. There's bloody beastmen in my back line. Dag nabbits. Welcome. Good, my plan comes to fruition. I told you, brother. Ugh, what now? You want a trade agreement? Mmm, sure. Seeing as, especially because you're going to pay me. 
I do like being paid. Unbridled ferocity or more money. I will take the more money. Thank you. Okay, we need to, uh, we need to, uh, souls. Need, some, need, need me some souls. Need some souls. There's an undefended set. You're not going to sit in an ambush, are you? You're not sitting in an ambush. You're not? You know? No? Okay, good. Right. Bop. Um. Raise it. Raise it. Hope for the best. We're off. We're scarpering. We're out of here. Ladies, losers. Actually, let's go for... Let's get Gleam Magic, because I actually need to give you some semi-decent so spells. Change. With any luck, you won't die. Okay, we're one turn away, but we've, we've got an infusion of souls, so we're, we're okay for a minute. Then we can move in. Oh, hello. Lord of the Assassins. Hmm. So at one point... Oh, it looks like... We, we might end up having to beat up Skaven instead of Cathay. That's fine. I don't. I can. I'll beat up anyone, to be honest, within reason. Obviously, uh, we got the money, which is nice. Probably want one of these, which gives us even more money and knights and shits, which is also good. We'll go deadly blade for Kyle. With any luck, Boris is anywhere near. Become kind of scared of him now. I've got the fear. Ooh, yeah. We could. If I now, where is? There's winter piles back there. That's not a bad place. You know what? Let's, let's slap a... We could get some mammoths and shit. You gain population where? Hmm. 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 I'll go on. Oh, a confederation. Interesting. Now, are My you at war? Stone elixir requires you with Things something. are not going well for Cathay. I think we're going to have to uh, crash that party, though. Oh, it looks like we may end up crashing it with friends. That's interesting. What happens if we attack it from both sides? What happens if we Eiffel Tower a bastion? Oh, it's under, is it under siege? No, it's... Wait, what? Hang on. Uh, hang on. Uh, never looked at the map on this side. Are you... Oh, is it under siege? Oh, it's under siege, that's why. I guess we just move in, then. I mean, not. Basically, we're going to sit here and wait for Deathmaster Snitch to attack. Then we'll join him. Is Boris around? Oh, crap, there he is! Run! <laughs> Shit! Where can he get to? There. I can. I can run away from him. I think. He can. He can only move there, right? He can march to there. He can only move there. I can move to there, which is further. Run! Run away! Run away! Yeah, we're safe. Just barely. We're good. We're good. Oh my god, what the fuck, Boris? What the shit? Why have you got so many... That, that's not an army, that's a fucking intervention. What the shit? Jesus Christ. I mean, on the plus side, I do have a lot of anti-large. That's something. Uh, where did those beastmen go? Hello. Oh yeah, there you are. Right. Defensive alliance? Yeah, cool. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. Why don't you... I don't know. F fuck off and fight someone else. I do so enjoy it. Why don't... Alright, Ted's defensive alliance. You know what? Go on. You're in. Oh, God. Big. That could be... That could be useful. Could be handy. Well, it begins. Not my problem. So far away. Oh God! Lord Kanjura. He's coming for me. He's got so many Feral frost worms. <laughs> He's got so many fucking frost worms. Okay, we're gonna run. We're gonna run Bye. home. Bye. Bye. We're safe. Magic. I'm, I'm touching. I'm touching the fortress. You can't get me when I'm touching the fortress. Oh, Deathmaster Snitch, are you doing anything? Holy shit! How many armies have you got? 
I mean, ideally what we do, right, is let them attack and then just watch them get exterminated. That would be that would be the dream. Is there anywhere we can stick a thing where Ooh. That's the bilious cliffs. Where's that? Black Rock's probably the best place. Because it's a fortress. The bilious cliffs are just that right on the right on the coastline. It's not really great. I mean, eventually we'll get access to everything they've got. So I think we're gonna pop it in the what was it? Black Black Rock? Black Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Let's do that one. Right, good, good. Good. Just need to wait for Death Master's niche to actually attack the gate. We're right here, waiting to join in. Any any time now. Did did you did you sack it? Oh, I'm not at war with them, am I? Of course not. Oh, fuck. That could have been a really fun fight. Never mind. It looks like they just sacked it and didn't actually take it. So I guess I can maneuver in and grab it. Gain them. Really? Good for him. I don't even know what that was. Hang on. What did you get? How did you get that? I genuinely don't know. Nice one, though. It's a good one. Good for you. Well done. Right. Um, oh, you need to level up, didn't you? Uh, blue fire. It's not very exciting, but there we go. Okay. Let us declare war. No. Never in a yes. thousand yes. lifetimes. Also, yes. That's mine now. I'm genuinely quite tempted just to uh, just to throw myself at um. Oh, he's got a great moonbird. Um, to throw myself at Death Master Snitch, but that would not be the best time. In fact, what I'm going to do is Why would I, dirty my uh, I can't give you anything. What about you? you? Can I give you Snake Gate? Play. I could give you Snake Gate. Yes, Enjoy. Yes. I don't really want it to be honest, so it's your. I don't. I don't think you get any money for it. It's to be honest, it's more of a drain on your resources than anything else. But it's not my problem, mate. That's a you problem. Right. What's going on? What's going on over here with the the love hate relationship? It's more of a hate hate relationship. Maybe if we let's let's try and ambush ourselves. I mean. I'm not as worried. There's a lot of frost worms there, admittedly. A lot of frost worms. However, mm, we get rid of you. Then I can get two of you. I really, I, I like, I like these guys. They're a lot. Of, they're a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Right. Let's see if Boris wants to. Dark. No, he's wandered off. What a dick. Sorry, what happened? Okay, well, that's fine. Little confederation. Right, we know where Boris is, so let's let's meander in this direction. Because I'm 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 not as worried about that. And it looks like he's losing territory. Which is good. And I would like to grab this if we could. That's an option. Also, looks like Death Master Snitch has gone off on one. Which is fine. But I would... Hello. Goodness me, there's a lot of scaven in Cathay, isn't there? Oh, Kolek, where are you? What are you off to? What? Kolek? No. What are you doing? I don't even know where you're going. It's not a big problem. At least my allies seem to be, well, hmm. come. not all of my allies seem to be doing At least Kolek's doing something. He seems really invested, which is great. I love this energy from Kolek. It's very, it's, you know, that's great. That's, he's getting employee of the month. The 
I do like a magma storm. It's just the faction leader's army, isn't it? Yeah. Scr I mean, screamers are fine. We don't really do in that. I guess magma storm then. I guess we're going magma storm. Also, where the fuck is Boris? If he ambushes me again, I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> going to be so angry. <laughs> I think he's almost dead, though. I, I think... I, uh, I, I wish I'd attacked him, to be honest. I wish I'd attacked him, and I wish I'd been at war with these fuckers. What I'm... Now, I'm going... I'm go Right. Also, why are you taking attrition? Without supplies. Is that because you've run out of money? I need to see them counsel. What do you want, gentle thing? Yes, master. There you go. I'll keep you going, I guess. Hopefully, anyway. Right. Do we do we take Nangal or? I'm saying I'm going to say yes. Don't know if we can. Yeah, we can. It's Skaven. What a surprise. We're going to declare war. Not, not now. Yeah. Kill them all. I just remembered they can ambush, can't they? Fuck. 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 Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuckity fuck. Where can they... Where can you... You can... You're marching. Uh, I... Okay. I think the best option is just to sit outside and hope for the best. It's not gr it's not a great option, I'll be honest. I'll level with you. As options go, pretty fucking terrible. Completely forgot the Skaven can do that. Like the genius I am. I am so smart. Fortunately, most of their army is Skaven slaves, so... Realistically, I I am less concerned than I probably should be. Uh, you, I get Searing Doom, I guess. That will work. Archeon is in the biggest danger. But he himself... Uh, he He's an absolute bruiser. So, I mean... Should be fine. Also, I don't like the Beastmen currently raiding me. That I'm against. Just gonna put it, just gonna slap it out there on the table. Let it all unfurl. Not a fan of them raiding me. Yep. 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 I wonder how many armies they brought. Not having a good episode, am I? Not having a good episode. Rough episode. <sighs> Rough episode. Also, I, I work something out. I've got this little lamp here, right? This lamp is is what I use. So I need a little bit of extra light, or when I'm doing some painting, a little bit of painting. What I found is that when I turn it on, it does something, and it makes Discord change my audio device and I don't know why. It's repeatable as well. I can switch. This is this is not plugged into anything that the computer's plugged into. For some reason though, it's close enough. It causes some kind of electromagnetic stuff which which makes Discord decide to change the audio device. No idea. Genuinely have no fucking clue. So, uh, as as predicted, they've brought everyone now, Deathmaster Snitch is trying to assassinate Archeon. Uh, unfortunately for him, he's realised that that was a bad idea and he's now running away to try and assassinate someone easier, like... Egrim! Egrim, though, is just running through... The, he's running through a field of wheat. How naughty. But the important thing is that Archeon and Hordred have caught up 
with Death Master Snitch. And now he's going to get his, his ass handed to him. That's it. Come on, fuck off. Off you go. Okay, fair enough. Right, reinforcements now pouring onto the battlefield, which means we're outnumbered. Uh, this is not going well for us. It's going very poorly indeed. Deathmaster Snitch's army is probably the nastiest one. It's got things like Storm Vermin, it's got the, the Plague Monks, all that kind of stuff. The reinforcing armies are mostly Skaven Slaves, but they do have some nastier units intermixed into them. We have Archeon though, the Everslave. I'm hoping that maybe he can do some damage because no one else can. And our spell selection is woeful. And they do have a couple of these guys. What the fuck are they called? Uh, the Pack Masters, that's it. Which they're piling in. They've also got a wizard here. I'm thinking like my Ar Archeon should be able to kill off these guys, right? Right, that shouldn't be that shouldn't be particularly difficult for him. Plus he's got Hordred as well as backup. And these guys are mounted. Four dreads is anti-large. He's got another 25 bone of first large. So that's a lot of damage, right? So I'm thinking pack masters should be easy meat. Easy, easy meat. However, uh, for some reason, and I don't know why, Archeon is really struggling to, to hit them. Or even, indeed, attack them. He's doing some damage, but nowhere near as much as I thought he would be doing. Kind of struggling a little bit there. Bit weird. Never mind. Our infantry is continuing to hack through the Skaven hordes. Look at the numbers there. You can see they've brought four and a half thousand. We've brought one and a half thousand, uh, but we've killed roughly over a thousand of them, about 1,200 Skaven so far. Not too bad, considering that uh, Deathmaster Snitch's army is probably the nastier one. So his losses are fairly catastrophic, and then the rest will just be hordes of Skaven slaves, which I'm going to be honest, are still fairly bad. Another pack master there, clan rats, clan rats and scaven slaves. Yes, for the most part, it's just clan rats and scaven slaves. Maybe some plague monks intermixed there. And the scaven I mean, the slingers are kind of annoying. The rattling guns, quite nasty. But uh, overall, and warp fire throws there as well. Why not? So, Archaon and Hordred are really just, just trying to trying to go at it. But if I, if I have a look at what Archaon's actually doing here, you can see that... He's just, he, that's not an attack. That's just him waving his sword around. He was been doing that for quite, I, I tried to move him out. Maybe see if, like, maybe he was, like, stuck or something. Trying to attack something he couldn't reach. Finally, he suddenly starts doing some actual attack damage. But, I mean, considering he's got 101 melee attack. And these guys have only got, I guess he does have six, eight, oh, he's got slippery. So I guess that does increase his melee defense quite considerably. And he's got heals as well. So I guess that does make them quite tanky. Meanwhile... Uh, what's left of our army are desperately trying to hunt down... God, I've, this has been a rough episode, hasn't it? Going from me saying... Yeah, well, I try not to lose battles. Fuck it. Hoisted by my own petard. Again. Every fucking... I should learn by now. I should know this. This is a given. But no. Fuck my life. Anyway. So we're trying to take out Alchemy Spark. A chieftain on a thingy majig, and that is doing. I mean, I I genuinely thought Archeon would be more killy, but he's he's really struggling. We've we've basically not managed to. We, we've knocked out Deathmaster Snitch fairly quickly. He's fled off the battlefield, um, which is fine. He's over there somewhere. He legged up, legged it in that direction, so that was fine. But. Being attacked by, like, f okay, there is, like, five characters here to kill off, to be fair. We've managed to make the Chieftain flee. That's fine. And, I mean, the Scale Spike there is taking a lot of damage. Meanwhile, what's left of our army is desperately trying to hunt down any Skaven they can get their hands on. It's something, looking at numbers. Uh, because since they brought 4,500 and they're down to 2,500, I'm thinking that we've, we've done a pretty good, pretty good amount of damage, to be fair. I think we did all right here considering that we got ambushed again fucking ambush still lots of lots of dead rat bodies that's the main thing we're still still trying to take out these characters um spoilers doesn't work 
doesn't work, and eventually we get mobbed with enough clan rats and scaven slaves to break the army. Uh, but uh, I don't think we actually lost many units. And we're on our own territory, so we should be able to replenish. Overall, could have been worse. I was just thinking about this, but doesn't this magic item that he's got give us... They give us 30% ambush defense chance. How the fuck did you manage to ambush me? I j it does feel like the... No, I'm, I'm sure it's not. I'm sure this is just my my feeling. But it does feel like the AI gets a lot of ambushes. Whereas when I play the Skaven, I have to be prepared to ambush two or three times. I'm never certain of an ambush. As it is, we still got the replenishment. And Village is fine. Deathmaster Snitch is basically dead. They do have a bunch of armies, but they're all marching. So I'm actually feeling pretty good about this. I'm actually got how much money do we have? Okay, that's not too bad. Also, Hordred got the survivor boon. See, we're doing it. We're doing it. That was my strategy. We're getting the survivor boon. The imperative survivor boon. Look at this. 5% ward save, right? Game changing. Fucking game changing. I don't care what anyone says. That's, that's fucking game changing. <laughs> fucking game. I, I genuine, like, I'm fairly sure you get a minus 25. So it's minus 15%, but that's another 30% reduction. So you've got a 45% reduction to being able to ambush. How the fuck? Did, that must have been a fucking clutch ambush. Right? That must have been fucking clutch. Well. Let's... Right, I need to... Uh, I'm going to attack Deathmaster Snitch. With any luck, all of his friends will jump in to try and save his pitiful existence. And we are going to... Hammer him into the fucking ground. Oh, don't you, don't you, do, do you not? Oh, well, okay, fine. No biggie. We just need to get a wee bit closer and then attack one of the not... To be honest, considering Deathmaster Snitch's army's fucked, killing off these other three stacks, probably the better option. Good. Right. We're good. And, and, and we've got a magma storm as well on top of that. Lovely. That, however, is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.